What's up everybody? Wait on my help to get here this morning. So I want to put together a quick little video of how I have my trailer set up so that uh, y'all can get a sneak peek at how I keep my stuff organized as a plumber. I decided to take a different approach this time. I've had service body trucks in the past and I decided to go with an enclosed trailer and a regular truck. Um, just my preference. I like the way a trailer works better. It gives me more room to organize. But as you can see, like right here on the side door, I got some magnet strips hanging up with uh, just some of my everyday uh, hand tools hanging up. Believe it or not, they actually stay. Um, they don't fall off when I hit bumps and stuff. Um, if you come in the side door, I took down all the walls, paneling all that quarter inch Luan and put up some half inch plywood and painted it. And uh, I got my ladders hanging up. I put that that track up. Um, I can't remember what they call that track. Um, to hang some tools up. So I got my ladder there. Got another four foot ladder over here. And on the back wall, I got the Milwaukee fan, of course, and I got my, my short scaffolding. I got a wagon to help to, to uh, help cart stuff around the job site, cart stuff in and out. Um, these little bins are hanging up here. I got all my glue and uh, uh, pipe dope, whatnot, some rags. I, I wired it up for power. So I redid all the electrical in it. And I got some battery chargers here so I can charge some batteries. You can see I got AC up here, the outlet, and I got rope lights all through the trailer. So when it's hooked up to power, you know, you can see what's going on in here. Um, over on this side, I got my tool bag hanging up. This is just everyday, like, uh, rough in on the job site tools that I need. This little bin set up with glue and paint. Sorry, not glue. Paint, um, foam. Um, you know, I've got some, some different lubes, tape measures. Our radios so we can communicate on the job site. Drop cords garden hoses, you know, this is the necessities. And down here, I'll put some straps on the floor so that, you know, I can throw in, you know, several hundred feet of pipe in here, as long as it's 10 foot links. And then I can adjust my straps on the floor and on the wall to strap the pipe in so it doesn't roll around everywhere. This wall, I got a bend down there for just miscellaneous things, you know, extra fitting, stuff left over from job. And I got some toolboxes. These are all some miscellaneous fittings, PVC fittings, copper, CPVC, just don't, you know, use much of that stuff anymore. My torch, uh, miscellaneous drill bits, just extra drill bits of odd sizes and shapes. And um, sweat and tray, my Hilti, my camera, um, a big Milwaukee light, job site radio. And, you know, you got to have some trash bags and just some miscellaneous bins and stuff when you're crawling underneath the house. You need some bins and whatnot. Um, this is my pride and joy here, my new Milwaukee pack out system. And this thing's got... Oh, God, I mean, I like to see everything I need in it. I mean, it's close. It's got all my hand tools, all my power tools, batteries, PEX fittings, trim out stuff, stops, escutcheons, screws. I mean, it's got everything in it. Um, I'll be doing a video review on this soon and um, let y'all see how this system works for me. And, um, of course, you got a vacuum cleaner. I got my Yeti knockoff. Um, I'll never buy a Yeti. That's the Arctic version. It works just great. And uh, so, yeah. That's it.